All right, guys, thanks for joining today. Today we are going to work on this Canon 7D here, and we are going to open up the back and replace the main board. We're going to put a new one in there. Uh, the one that's in here now is currently not working. Well, I mean, it works, but it kills the battery super fast. Like, normally you can put a battery in here and leave the camera on for a couple days, uh, and if you're not using it, then the battery doesn't drop. However, with the board that is in here right now, if you... Um, turn the camera on and just let it sit, then the battery will be dead within a day. So there's definitely something wrong with the board. I sent this into Canon probably three, four years ago, and they worked on it, and uh, they fixed the issue that it had before, which was, I believe, an error 30, and when it came back, the battery wouldn't stay charged. Um, and I know before I had sent it to them, I had put a um, another battery, I mean another uh, another board in it that I had gotten off of eBay from China, and it was basically bad from the time I installed it. So, um, yeah, what we're going to do now, this is actually a board that I, I took out of another 7D that I bought off of eBay uh, for parts, and I'm going to install it in this one now, so we'll go ahead and uh, get started on this. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is to remove the rubber grip from the back of the camera. The, there's one screw located under the uh, grip on the right side. Um, then you're going to want to remove the, the eyepiece around the viewfinder. There's four screws under that. Apologize for the uh, focusing issue here. I didn't realize that I had it on autofocus and focusing on my hands. With those four screws removed, there are three more on the bottom. You only need to remove the three screws that are holding the back cover on. There's a few others on here, but they're, you don't need to take them out. That little rubber pad right next to the screw there on the left hand side needs to come out as well. And don't forget that screw underneath the grip. This is the longest screw on the back. Uh, so if you put all your screws in a pile, then uh, that one's the longest. The four around the eyepiece are the next four longest, and the three shortest are on the bottom. With that, all the screws out, just pick up on the back cover. There's one ribbon cable. So if you lift the cover forward, stick your fingernail under that clip and just lift up, it'll pop right off. Set it off to the side. Next, there are ribbon cables that need to be disconnected, and each of the ribbon cables has a little plastic clip. You just stick your fingernail under it and pop it up. Uh, there's that one. This one here. Just grab it and pop it, you'll feel it give lo get loose. There's those two, and one at the top. Um, there's one on the lower left there, but it does not have one of those little clamps. Now this is the main cable. So you can just, just pop the outside loose. You can pop the entire thing out if you want to. Um, I just left it in there. Then there are a number of screws here. So you can pop all of the ribbon cables loose now. They, they should all come out fairly easily. There's one screw in the corner there. There's a one screw hiding under this ribbon cable. There's one screw to the right of this ribbon cable. There are two screws on the top. And there's one screw in the top left corner. Now there's one other ribbon cable underneath this one that I'm popping loose now. And that also has a little plastic clip. So pop that plastic clip loose and then you can lift the ribbon cable out. Then you can start unscrewing the screws. This screwdriver that I'm using is magnetic, uh, so it helps to make sure that you don't drop any of your screws down inside the camera. The 
his main circuit board also has one long screw and the long screw is this one here in the lower uh, lower right corner you can see that it's almost twice as long as the other screws With all these screws loose, there is one more cable left to unplug. Uh, you need to pry up on the top there where my left hand is. There is a plug there. So when you put the new board in, you need to put some pressure on it to make sure it stays in. There's a little tiny uh, plug right there for the microphone, and then there's an optical cable that also slides in there. It's a little bit hard to see. I'll lift it up here and stick my finger under it, and you'll be able to see it. There is no plug on the end of that. It just slides in. So when you take the back off, just take a close look and then make sure when you put the new board in that the uh, cable slides in as well. Um, this little tiny plug here is quite small and kind of hard to get in with your bare fingers. Um, I have a pair of surgical tweezers laying on the right lower corner here, you can see. Um, it's actually easier if you grab it with those and, and uh, just push it in. Which I think I end up doing here. Take a close look at the direction it's plugged in when you pull it out just to make sure that you get it put back in the, the same way. With that in, now you want to make sure you get that optical cable put in the right slot there and make sure that it's you slide it all the way in so I'm using the surgical clamp you uh, just gotta work this in slowly take your time don't rush it and you'll get it in make sure all the cables are in the right place. The HDMI plug and such slides in on the left hand side there. Lift up the main cable. I put the cables that are on the top left above the board and then as this goes together I use my screwdriver and just slowly pop all the remaining cables above the board while I hold the board in place. And then there's one more on the upper right there. So get that above the board. Now you gotta line the board up and where my thumb is there is a socket and you just gotta press on that part of the board there. Um, make sure you line it up and then press on that part of the socket and it will pop it in place. It, it plugs into the board below it. So, now that the board is back in place, go ahead and put all the screws back in. Make sure the longest one goes in the lower right corner. I skipped over the screws, uh, no sense in watching me screw them all back in. Now that all those are in place, make sure that the main ribbon cable is popped in. And then work your way around the board and work each cable, ribbon cable back into it, the, its socket. They should slide in completely. There is a little bit, a little slot below the little plastic tab that flips up there. It should fit into the slot and then you should be able to push it in um, a few millimeters and you can tell when it's lined up and when it's in there. You shouldn't have to fight it. Once it's lined up it should just go. You may have to tweak it a little bit to convince it, but they're not terribly difficult. Line up the cable, push it into the slot 
make sure it's seated all the way in the slot and then fold the little plastic tab back down. Now this cable here on the lower left does not have a plastic tab. It's a little bit of a challenge to get it in. Um, I'm grabbing the edges with my surgical forceps and just kind of working it in. You could also use needle nose or uh, some other pair of pliers uh, if that doesn't work for you. Now make sure you get your the bottom cable plugged in first. So it should slide in fairly easily. Sorry about that. Just gonna work it into the slot and then push it in. That little that, those ribbon cables have a little tiny hole, and sometimes you stick the tip of your screwdriver in there and work it in. Now this cable has two holes, so it doesn't work quite the same. This one was the most challenging cable here. It's it's a little long, so you have to stick a screwdriver under the cable and kind of fold it back far enough so that you can get the tip lined up and uh, shoved in the slot. Once it's in, it should move pretty quick, easily, and then you can flip that little tab down, the keeper tab, and it'll. Stay put. Now this one here is easy because it's got that hole right on top of the cable. So you just put some pressure on the top, push it back a little bit, and then just manipulate it. Just push it forward and it should slide right in. And then fold that little plastic flap back. That just leaves the rear cover to plug into the board now. Make sure that that little rubber piece on the bottom of the board, that little rubber seal, is aligned properly when you stick the back cover on. So that little plug, just make sure it's lined up. And then pop it on. You'll, you'll feel it click into place. The rest is fairly simple. This will be the longest screw. Followed by the four next longest screws. Take your time with this. Uh, if you're in too big of a rush, you can either um, strip the end of your screwdriver or strip the head of the strip the head of the screw, which then makes a real pain trying to. Uh, get it out if you ever have to again or if you strip it out before it's all the way and you'll have to work it out with a pair of pliers but yeah just take your time it should go fairly smooth I'll flip it up and you can get the three screws on the bottom. Put those in place, put the little rubber cap back on the bottom, the seal. Makes it water resistant. Good to go. Throw a battery in it. Oh, <laughs> almost good to go. Yeah, put the eyepiece back on and then put your hand grip back on. It's got adhesive on it, so just line it up and press it into place. It should stay pretty good. I'll put a battery and a lens in it uh, and a memory card.
card. Power it up and make sure it works. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's useful to you. Um, yeah, if you like this, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks.